Hi guys, it's me Morgan. You can call me Mog for short. And welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so for today's video, I'm going to share with you my immigration timeline for on how long it took me to um, obtain my study permit to have or study here in Canada. So if you are interested or if you are planning to obtain one or if you are already in the process of having your study permit then keep watching so before anything else um, as you can see around look around yeah it's a bit messy because and then I don't have enough space and like my room back then I had um, bigger dress dressers and yeah it's not too crowded but yeah here we are adjusting oh first on my timeline is that I have to ask myself if I need agency or just do it on my own so for me I consulted a lot of agencies but you know I joined zoom meetings the webinars and then I also joined um, different Facebook groups to obtain more idea on how to do things like DIY or with an agency and then to start for me I chose Kanata yes Kanata Educational Service so for me I chose Kanata Educational Consultancy Services so yeah Basically, January 17, 2022 is when I sent my CV to Kanata via email. So in here, you have to send your curriculum vitae so that you can have to consult with them. So you will be briefed and assessed by the counselor based on their education and work background. So it depends on your school or your program before your college and or your work experiences so that they will recommend a program and a school for you. Next is January 25 is when I decided what school I will be in and so that is when you will submit all your documents to Kanata because they will help you also in submitting your or receiving your LOA that is the letter of acceptance from the school. Basically, before the process, you will need to gather your documents. So that is when I went to my grade school, to my high school, and to my college so that I could get my transcript of records and also my um, English is a medium of language. And so, as for my consultation services, which is Kanata, um, I have to pay 10,000 to confirm of this of their services so it is not that bad because this 10,000 service deposit serves as the um, it is used to pay for my visa application fee and for my biometrics fee which is already good and so your application will start once you have chosen your school March 2 2021 I submitted my application or the Kanata submitted my application to the school Georgian at ILEC. So this is a different school from the school I am in right now. Um, basically, I had to switch the school. So from Georgian at ILEC, I paid around 4 3 for my application fee. But then um, things have changed. So I have decided to transfer to another school. So I also got a refund from that school. So the refund from that school, I receive it. And then I applied for another school, which is Niagara College at Toronto. And it was a bit difficult for me because I have to find it. Um, it was the last minute, last, last school I have in my mind. So upon researching on what school really fits me, then we came up with Niagara College at Toronto. After applying for my school, we have to wait for me to receive my letter of acceptance. 
So upon waiting, I also applied for um, medical examinations. So that's IOM at Cebu. That is around March, I guess, yeah. So I emailed them and sent them my payment so that I could have my, I could schedule my appointment. It was the month of April when my agency submitted my application to the school. So it takes a bit, like two to three weeks for you to receive your loan. It depends on the school also, if they have a lot of, you know, students coming around. And so um, April also, I went to Cebu in order for me to find my schedule because I was scheduled on August 11th and it was a bit farther if you want to take September for your school for I mean if you want to have September intake so August was a bit shaky so we went to Cebu IOM that was April and decided to to walk in and sadly they uh, there's a lot of people really and so walk in was really not a choice so they gave us schedule so we had to go back there um, around the first week of May Okay, so I have to go here because the lighting is good and I saw a squirrel run. Yeah, so that's it. May 3, 2021 is when I received my LOA. Yeah! So, LOA, this is what I told you, the letter of acceptance from the school. And I, I got my LOA and at the same time, it is time for my medical examination. So that was good, that was achievement. May 10 was the time when my agency is, um, told me to I have that I have to notarize my documents. So what are these documents? Um, a lot. There's a lot of documents you need, like proof of payments, proof of incomes, um, birth certificates, and bank clearance, and everything. So all of this stuff, my agency told me to um, notarize it so I notarize it May 11 2021 is when um, I paid for my tuition for yeah I paid my tuition fee at Niagara College that was online so this one's a bit you know heavy but thanks to my parentals they were the ones who you know sponsored me <laughs> Thanks. Along with these documents and like um, finally I had to um, lodge my application that was around May 18, 2021. So yeah, finally we can lodge our application and that's it. We have to wait for, I don't know, long or short. It depends on your visa officer. May 25 of 2021 is when I had to go to Manila. That time I was already in Manila, so it was really good and timing. July 11 of 2021, um, I got an email from IOM Cebu and it says that, yeah, medical pass. So I was like, OMG, this is it. I mean like once your medical is also passed this it means also in another achievement for your application so you know when i had a medical examination i was a bit worried because of course i have some health conditions on my own and so i was afraid of what it would what would the outcome be but yeah thank god application i mean my medical was um passed or approved um, as far as i could remember i paid around nine thousand something around nine thousand so i'm not sure how much is it right now so yeah so july 28 2021 was the most important part of you know my application process because it was the day when my sp or student permit was approved yeah! and so yeah, actually um i can still remember that i wrote in a sticky note that when i applied for my sp that was may 18 2021 i wrote down there that i will be approved on um, june 28 or 29 um 2021 but yeah it was not it was not the date that 
came out but actually it was a month after so that was july 28 2021 and it was not bad i can still remember that um that moment when i was like had rosary and pray that it will be given and yeah it was given yeah so i was not feeling good at that time um i was in my bed my mom was there and i was scrolling tried to scroll on my emails and poof there was a time i received two emails from the visa something at and you know yeah so it was both happy and sad sad because you couldn't often realize that um you know a few months from now i could be traveling to Canada and it is sad because in a few months from now it will be the last month that I'm gonna spend time with my family and friends back home. So yeah, it was sad and of course happy because after months of doing stuff, collecting documents and you know along the process finally um get in the fruits of my labor. And of course, happy is because it's my first time to Canada. Yes, so finally August came, August 30, I think, was the time when my parents and I decided to book a flight so that it would not be much expensive. And so I need to be there um, by a month or weeks before um, to adjust also. And yeah, so December 14 was my flight to Toronto. And prior to that, I had to go to Manila. So December 13, I was already in Manila and waiting for my flight in December 14. So yeah, December 14, I was, I mean 13 and 14, I was with my parents. So they came with me. So we had to go to like, yeah, as a requirement, of course. And so we spent a night in Manila and then Finally, December 14 came and it was emotional again. So I still have the box too with me and yeah, ito. This is the box. So yeah, wala na siya sulod kaya ako nag-arrange. But yan na siya kadako. And I have to put my things there. Not just my things but my sister as well. So when I arrived at the airport, um, good thing was that there was a office or you know stall where you can get your SIN. So SIN is basically important if you are a newcomer to Canada. So that's um, like SSS or something. But SIN is important, especially as a student and as a newcomer in Canada. So dito I mean kaya ako ng SIN and then sempre wala ko Wala self, I mean, wala ko SIM card na Wi-Fi. Goods na kayo. Nag-chat ko sa akong sister na napako diri, nagkuha kong SIN. And so, timing yun ka ayaw kayo nakakuha ko dito na sa airport. Kaya ana siya nga, dugay gina makuha ang SIN kung dili ka magkuha like sa airport. Kaya kailangan pa ka mo go sa um, katong office bid mismo sa so, na makakuha kong SIN. And you know, I did not really expect that when I arrived in Canada, um, um, there was a news that there will be a snowstorm. So snowstorm, I had like, what? What is a snowstorm? So good thing that yes, it happened. The snowstorm happened, but it was not like it was not um, in that area. So thank God for that. And but you know, I was not expecting that it would be cold, like really cold. You know, you can feel the weather is like, um, I had my jacket, but the jacket was, no, no. It was, I just bought it in the Philippines and it was not effective at all. So good thing is that my sister's friend, he has this huge jacket with him and he let me, he landed me that. Basically, I'm already here at Canada. And so, yeah, and so my first class was last January 9th. 2021. Ah no, 2023. Yes, 2023. So I forgot. 2023. Do you remember in 2023 and um everything was like just fine. 
know, just adjusting the things, the school to your classmates. So, maura na talang, that's it. And basically, that's my timeline for my obtaining of my student permit. That's it. So, for those who are still in the process of applying or still thinking uh, applying for your student permits or student visas, then yeah um all i can say is that good luck and get blessed on your application process and you know whatever it is i know that you'll receive good news pray lang nang pray and so guys i know that i'm still new to this thing and yeah no prior experience but i hope that you will like even if you don't like and subscribe and share my youtube channel youtube channel because i think i'm gonna um i'm gonna continue this if you guys support me too thank you for watching my video you can just comment down below for your questions or any suggestions and i hope i can see you in the next video bye yours